Welcome everyone to the first weekly edition of truthdeficit.com's weekly review. We'll be doing this each week, uh, looking at the most popular, most interesting uh, articles from truthdeficit.com, news that affects your freedom. So here we go. Let's jump right in. First, we have an article. This is a good article I found, uh, How to Disappear Online. Uh, it's got a nice infographic down here. It just goes you uh, it goes step by step what you need to do. It's got some of the bigger accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Google, uh, LinkedIn. Just step by step how to, how to get rid of these accounts, uh, how to search for yourself in ways you may not have already thought about, delete account or falsify undeletable accounts. That was a good idea. Um, just change the name, change the locations. Step four, unsubscribe, delete search engine results. A lot of good stuff you may not have thought about already. Um, so go ahead and check that out. We have a woman jailed for recording uh, the police officer during a traffic stop. Well, we're seeing this more and more, and uh, people, it is just not illegal to film uh, police officers. Uh, they don't like it. I understand they don't like it. However, <clears throat> it is not actually illegal. The officer told her she committed a felony and demanded she hand over her phone. In four minutes of arguing later, she gets arrested. So, I, I, again, I just have to say again, it is not illegal for us to photograph or video the police. In fact, I encourage us all to do it because it keeps them accountable. Uh, look at this. When they're not held accountable. This was a few weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago now. Several 15-ish uh, police officers, they suffocate and beat a mentally ill man to death. It was all caught on video, and they all got away with it. Um, this guy was not doing anything. They just walked up to him, uh, started harassing him, and ended with him bleeding all over the uh, street and dying. On, and they all, again, they all got away with it. Look at this. 90% of all U.S. cities with 50,000 people or more have SWAT teams. And 40,000 SWAT raids conducted every year. 40,000 every year. That's How many is that a day? I don't even know. I can't do the math. But that's just uh, incredible. Um, we have got to keep these police officers under control. The military-like uh, actions, and they're just starting to look more and more uh, like Delta Force. And that's the way they're acting. Uh, so keep on recording. Uh, you may get in trouble for it. You may not. But bottom line is, it's not illegal, and we've got to do it to keep them under control. All right, moving on. TSA, Transportation Security Administration, orders half a ton of high-powered explosives. Now, what does the TSA mean with high-powered explosives? What does the Department of Homeland Security need with millions of rounds of hollow-point bullets? You know, it's just incredible. 1,400 pounds of dynamite. What are they going to do with that? Check this article out. You know, it's got some good links in here talking about uh, them. Look at this. Art, 700 pounds of RDX and 700 pounds of ammonium nitrate. RDX, ammonium nitrate, that's stuff you hear about the terrorists using to blow things up. So why, are they, why would the TSA purchase dynamite? Exactly. So go ahead and check that article out. You know, is it, yeah, exactly, is it, will the dynamite be used for nefarious purposes? Only time will tell. That is a true statement, legit question. Why is there GMO sugar and salt? Well, this caught my attention because look at that GMO sugar and salt. Who would have thought? But sure enough, here's a label. Check this out right here. Dextrose. Sure enough, at the Morton Salt. Dextrose. Dextrose is what? It's sugar. <clears throat> Why is it in there? Well, because of course, just like our food, we're not getting the totally natural foods. We're not getting totally natural salt. It's processed, and during the processing, uh, to keep it salt, uh, to keep the salt dry, it has harmful additives added, including aluminum compounds. Aluminum, just like our food. So, potassium iodide, iodide is added to replace the natural iodine, and of course, that is added. But then, look at this. Processors add dextrose, which turns the iodized salt a purplish color. They do that to stabilize the compound, 
So, but then it turns it purple. So what do you have to do then? Well, now we have to bleach it so it's white again because nobody wants purple salt, right? So bleach, aluminum compounds, this is the things we're eating in our foods and had no idea, just like much of the food we eat, no idea. So check that out and continue to check out the foods that you eat, people. Why ExxonMobil's partnerships with Russia Rosneft challenged the narrative of U.S. exports as an energy weapon. That's a long title, but basically what it's all saying is, hey, there's more going on than the mainstream media is telling us about this whole Russia, Ukraine, uh, Europe situation. Just like every other war or uh, uh, political action around the world, there's more going on than uh, under the surface than we're actually going to hear about. Uh, there's so many business and political ties between those uh, two co uh, countries, Euro uh, Russia and Ukraine. All about this right here, the Russia gas pipelines going through Ukraine. Russia feeds their gas into Europe. Europe's their number one customer. We're talking about millions and billions of dollars. And so this is really what it's going to be all about. And the businesses that control uh the gas pipelines, the gas industries, and the businesses that support those things. A lot of stuff going on that you're really not going to hear about. So read, check this out. It's got a lot of links. Um, and continue to research the truth of what's really going on and why. Remember the acid rain scare. Yeah, during the 70s and 80s, if you're around, we had the acid rain scare. So we were going to have acid rain that was going to kill us all, much like the global warming and the was it called? No, they call it climate change now. Well, it come to find out, acid rain was not a big deal after all, and that the problem is far more complicated than thought. That other factors combined to harm trees, and that sorting out the cause and effect was difficult and in some cases impossible. Just, you know, it, it's amazing. It's, it's truly amazing that uh, was foisted upon us. This uh, this lie. And it was the big scare. And it was all about sulfur dioxide. And while sulfur dioxide is actually bad for us, um, there's no true uh, threat there. There's not enough, not enough to worry about. So what happened is, just like everything else, we had a, a business. Let's go down here. Oh, look at this. Enron, the sulfur dioxide business was controlled by Enron. They were trying to create a market, just like now, the cap and trade uh, market to buy and sell credits. Um, well, once that all fell apart, because there was not a real threat, we needed some new threat. So Enron, along with, look at this, uh, Congress declared that CO2 would then be the new, the new pollutant, the new big scare. It was just a problem is that CO2 wasn't actually a pollutant. And so what happened is that we started bribing enough Congress people. Oh, what, here's what the, that's exactly. Enron's boss, Lay, began working closely with him to lobby Congress. What does that mean? To bribe Congress to grant EPA necessary CO2 regulatory authority. So again, we have business, businesses controlling the government for their own uh, um, uh, profit, and of course, we're all going to pay for it. So, you know, the acid rain scare turned out to be baloney, and now you know why and where that all came from. Some good history right here, so go ahead and check that out. Oakland forced to dial back full spectrum surveillance. So we have Oakland, Seattle. Boston, we have some actual victories here, uh, some good news. They're uh, being forced back to, are forced to do away with some of their plans and things that they were already doing, license plate scanners, um, a Wi-Fi surveillance network that was able to um, check out any of your smartphones or laptops you might be carrying around the city. Um, so, so some good news. Oakland was, they were getting ready to build a data awareness system. A domain awareness center based on New York City's uh, ring of steel. So check that out. This new 
New York is probably the one of the most spied upon. I think London might be more, but most spied upon city in the world. Uh, this is a great video. It talks all about. It's kind of long, forty three minutes. It talks all about this ring of steel in New York. Um, you know, the global war on terror, nine eleven. It was all that was all used as an excuse to build all this stuff. Uh, some incredible privacy issues. So check that out. Next we have Obama doubling down on the Brain Project. The Brain Project is, what is that? It is transhumanism, uh, mind control, uploading our, our uh, brains into computers, and how can we weaponize all this stuff. Um, medical nanobots will connect brain to cloud computing. The government seeks new ways to manage big data, and meaning eventually meaning manage your brain that will be com uh, connected to the computers so you know again we're going to act like god just like it talks about down here um extension life extension uh transhumanism all that stuff there's a long article but go ahead and check that out very interesting stuff right there the center for disease control they come out with a report that says, hey, stop breastfeeding and start vaccinating. They are claiming that mother's milk may affect certain vaccines and so that would be better for you to stop breastfeeding your child, which is the most natural thing you can do and the best thing you can do for them, and instead just keep on vaccinating. Keep shooting them with that mercury and aluminum that the drugs are made out of and that they all contain. So we're not going to watch it right now, but that's a great YouTube video, so I encourage you to go back and check this out. What would a large-scale gun confiscation look like? This is a good article. Um, so you, that's something you got to ask yourself. What, what would it look like? You know, every, we all hear people saying, oh, they're not going to take my guns, and they'll have to break down my door, and I'm going to shoot whoever's coming, and they can pry it from my cold, dead hands, all that stuff. But really, if you put your mind to it a little bit and think about it, there's really a little more to all that. You know, you have your family to think about. There's, it's not quite as simple as all that. Um, are you really gonna, are you really gonna bust out your weapon and start start a shootout with the cops? That's really gonna only, only gonna wind up one way. Is you dead? Um, so, you know, I'm not saying we shouldn't resist. I'm just, I'm just saying really. You really got to think about uh, what's really going to happen, and uh, and take into consideration your family and and the results of your actions. Chicken from China, your seafood is already being processed there. Yes, it is. Um, most of the stuff that's caught in the Pacific sent over to China, uh, re processed, repackaged, refrozen, and sent back here. And why? Because it's cheaper to do it that way. Unbelievable that it can be make that you know, 7,000 mile round trip twice and still be cheaper, uh, including the labor, but it is. Uh, look at that, domestically caught Pacific salmon and Dungeons crab are currently processed in China and shipped back to the U.S. And so now they're talking about doing it with chicken because it's cheaper. Uh, the problem with all that is China's appalling food safety work record. And there's no on-site USDA inspectors in those plants. So, you know, you really got to check out your food just like the salt uh, article a few minutes ago, a lot of your food, even though it has an American package labeling, has been sent to China uh, for processing. And they do not have controls over there. Let me check that article out, do your own research. And I just encourage you to, again, go back, check out all these videos. Go ahead and check out the links. Um, it's all good information, things that affect your freedom, your health and your families. So again, we appreciate you watching. Check in next week. We'll continue to do this each week. And uh, like and share on Tooth Deficit's uh, Facebook. And thank you for watching.